OK. And checking, 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 testing, testing, testing. Hopefully there's a little bit of an off one here. Checking, 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 testing, testing, testing. And then there should be a lot of volume back here. Checking, 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 testing, testing. Walking around and back to the front of the microphone. Check, 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 test, test, test. OK. And there we go. Every microphone has a directionality or sometimes called a pickup pattern. And that is essentially how the microphone is going to pick up sound uh, either more or less from different directions coming into it. So sound is coming in here, how will it be picked up or how will it not be picked up versus here as per, as per what pickup pattern the mic actually has. Now some microphones are just straight up built in. You cannot change that, mostly uh, dynamic microphones, a lot of condensers as well, and same with ribbon mics. And then some condenser microphones, you can actually change the pickup pattern like we can on this AKG C414 XL2. So let's talk about the four main types of pickup patterns on, that you'll see on a selectable mic or even just a static microphone that you can't change that pickup pattern. And I'm actually gonna step back just so we can help you out with some uh, graphical views on the microphone as well so that'll help you understand what I'm talking about. So cardioid, the, uh, probably the most common pickup pattern of any microphone uh, is, is cardioid. And, and so what that is, is um, uh, picking up sound mainly, uh, almost exclusively in front of the microphone. And so if you can envision on this capsule here, a uh, sort of a, a bubble, sort of a, a ball, a sphere in front of the uh, capsule, uh, that's a, a sort of, it's not a circular, it's maybe more like an oval shape type of thing. Um, and it's, uh, it's gonna pick up sound, it's gonna be most sensitive to sound coming into that bubble in front of the microphone. And that bubble also, um, you know, it's not one dimensional like this, uh, you know, it's actually gonna, it's gonna come out of the capsule right here and it's gonna, it's gonna go in sort of this fashion. And so yes, you know, it's sensitive, a cardio microphone would be sensitive to something coming in slightly off axis uh, uh, to it. Uh, but it will not be sensitive to sounds coming in directly behind the thing. Um, and so the next one, uh, the next pickup pattern is called uh, super cardioid. <laughs> very creative names here. And, um, and so what that is, is it's very similar to uh, cardioid where it's picking up predominantly sound from the front of the capsule. Um, but that lobal shape, that lobe is, is slightly narrower, uh, not too much narrower in general. And of course this exactness of you know degree of what I'm talking about varies per different mics, uh, models and manufacturers and stuff. But essentially it's like cardioid with the bubble in the front, slightly narrower of a bubble. But then there's this little button, this little, this little nub, little nubby in the back of the microphone uh, that uh, where, where it's sensitive to sound uh, right immediately from uh, behind the capsule, behind the diaphragm of the microphone. And so uh, that, com that, that pattern is not so common on a, like a static microphone, um, uh, but we definitely have it on this uh, selectable uh, microphone here, this uh, AKG C414 here. Now the next pattern I wanna talk about is a figure eight or uh, also called uh, bi-directional. Um, uh, pickup pattern. And so that, think of your cardioid uh, pattern where it's picking up sound predominantly in the front of the microphone. Now just multiply that by two and bring that to the back of the microphone. And so essentially it's going to pick up that, that bubble, that slightly oval shaped but spherical-ish uh, bubble of sound in the front and then, and then the same exact thing for the most part directly from behind the microphone. And that's super interesting. Ribbon microphones are essentially, uh, you know, built like that. that. That's just the nature of the mechanics of how they work, um, which is very interesting as well. And of course on this 414, we can select that and manipulate that and get to that pattern if we want to. And so what's important, uh, one little tip I wanna mention about the uh, figure eight uh, pattern is that there's essentially a null point in the top of the microphone, and, and for that matter, also you know it, it, around the the side of the microphone too, and so uh, you know looking at this at this uh, 414 here, uh, the bubble, uh, the figure eight, the bubble in the front would be coming out like this, and you know at the top and the sides it would kind of converge like this, and it'd be the same mirror image coming in. So there's this null area, all around like this, right? You know, it's got this nice little. Uh, um, uh, this little cage, uh, uh, the, the metal piece, the actual holder for the microphone here, that, that in figure eight is actually the uh, null point 
of the microphone. So that's really interesting because, uh, you know, again, you can be choosy on positioning the microphone, um, not only uh, positioning it with the mentality of I want the diaphragm to pick up sound, I, what I do want, the positive, the plus, what I do want, uh, but you can be thinking about what you don't want and where you would place the microphone uh, to manipulate what you don't want to hear in the mic. Cool, and so the last pickup pattern I wanna mention is omnidirectional, which is uh, sort of, uh, do I wanna say, it's my favorite pickup pattern, I, I guess I wanna say that. Um, the reason why I say that is because uh, actually the frequency response of the microphone especially if it's a selectable microphone, does get flatter. Uh, it's not flat, I'm not gonna say it, it flattens out, it absolutely doesn't. Um, but when you just simply by, uh, on this microphone for example, flipping all the way to omnidirectional, uh, it actually takes those peaks and dips across the audio frequency spectrum and it evens them out just a little bit more than as if you were on some of the other pickup patterns. Omnidirectional, so I didn't even mention what it is yet, uh, omnidirectional, it kind of uh, is self-explanatory, that's why I didn't mention it, omni, all uh, directions. So essentially it's gonna be a, a th sort of a 360 ball around the entire microphone. And so, you know, sounds are gonna be, it's gonna be sensitive to sounds coming in at different angles. And um, omnidirectional, uh, it works uh, well as e even as close mics or even as overheads, um, but definitely sort of the number one as far as drum mics are concerned uh, would be like room mics. And so, uh, especially in this room, uh, we're using uh, two Earthworks QTC 50s, um, just a space pair, stereo pair, uh, just a little bit distant away from the drum kit. And they're, uh, they're not selectable, they're by nature omnidirectional microphones. And uh, they're very natural and organic sound. I mentioned a little bit of, about that in the previous lessons. And um, it sounds very real, open, faithful to what these, this actual room sounds like. Okay, so now I want to uh, very quickly demo um, the how uh, the actual changing the pickup pattern on this selectable microphone sounds in the real world. So here is Cardioid, and I'm gonna sing a uh, 32 bar opera ballad, <laughs> no way, and checking, 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 testing, 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 check, 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 test, 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 I'm walking around to the back of the microphone now, and it should be a little bit quieter than it was in the front. Checking, 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 testing, 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 and now it should be a lot louder in the front, uh, maybe not a lot. Okay, and let's flip over to, this is a uh, super card. So, checking, 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 testing, testing, testing. It should drop just a little bit, not too much, and then there should be a little more volume in the back now when I'm here. Checking, 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 testing, testing. Walking around the microphone. Whoops, I got too close there. Walking around, check, 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 test, test, test. Cool, and hopefully you heard that difference there. And let's go over to, what did I say? I think I said figure eight next, bidirectional. Okay, and checking, 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 testing, testing, testing. Hopefully there's a little bit of an Checking, 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 testing, 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 and then there should be a lot of volume back here. Checking, 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 testing, testing. Walk around back to the front of the microphone. Check, 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 test, test, test. Okay, and there we go. And last but not least, let's go over to the Omni Directional. My, my favorite pickup pattern, I guess. <laughs> And here we go. Checking, 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 testing, testing, testing. And there shouldn't be much at all, if anything, of a change in volume or uh, tonal characteristics, although this microphone will change slightly um, in tone uh, as you walk around, even in Omni. Uh, but the volume should be staying essentially the same all the way through. All right, so you should have heard the changes in characteristics of sensitivity in the microphone as we changed the patterns and walked around. Uh, definitely, uh, you know, rewind that and check that out again so you can really see how effective those different pickup patterns are um, at changing the directionality of the microphone, essentially. So, thanks for watching this lesson and I'll see you in the next one.